Now let's get over to Germany. The government has begun what may be a series of historic takeovers to try and avert a collapse of the energy industry. Regulators are seizing control of a Russian oil major Rosneft's German oil refineries. Bloomberg has also learned that Berlin is in advanced talks to take over Uniper and two other large gas importers. Todd Gillespie, Bloomberg Energy reporter, joins us now for more. So it looks like um, Germany is starting to nationalize Russian assets and others in order to try and stabilize this energy market. Yeah, well, technically, this isn't quite a nationalization yet of uh, the Rosneft unit, but it is a precedent that has been set earlier this year when Germany took Gazprom Germania, a huge subsidiary of Gazprom, the Russian gas giant, into its trusteeship. And now that is one of the, com one of the companies, along with Uniper and VNG, that the German government is now actually going the full step, potentially, um, and taking a shareholdership of. But in Rosneft's case right now, Germany's looking forward to the end of the year where it's looking to... Uh, essentially end all crude imports from Russia um, as a result of sanctions on Ukraine. But now it's asking, hang on, if we've got this Russian infrastructure, can we really guarantee that we're going to get the oil for it if it's still owned by Russia? Mm, OK, and so that explains why the, Raz the, the Rosneft move, the, 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 the taking on of those Rosneft uh, assets by the German government. Uh, Todd, what about the, on the gas side then, because there's Uniper and a couple of other businesses that you just mentioned. We seem to be talking about this, whether they'd be nationalised for quite a few days, maybe weeks now. What's, it is complicated, I suppose, that's why it's taking so long. Yeah, it's really complicated. And in Uniper's case in particular, you've got a company that is essentially sort of 78% owned by a Finnish state-owned company. Fulton. So, yeah, exactly. So you've got a really kind of odd, complex uh, situation here. Also, if you think about the political implications of this, you've got the Finnish taxpayer that has essentially been sort of supporting and funding this company that has been subject to Russian domestic energy policy. So if you think about Russia's over or German Germany's over-dependence on Russia over the past few years and so essentially sort of the risk that that's put at um, Uniper at, uh, the, you know, the dynamics for the Finnish taxpayer are, are, are slightly interesting, let's just say. Um, and, and yeah, you've got VNG, you've got Gazprom Germania, now, re now renamed as Securing Energy for Europe. Both of those are also in line uh, for, for state ownership now. And this is really an unprecedented step of Germany just saying, hey, look, we need to secure all of our supplies, you know, whatever that means, whatever it takes, really, um, for the German economy.